Hello there, my fire sign collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, fire signs? You can ring my bell. I'll ring my bell. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on in your energy? What's going on in your energy? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful fire sign collective. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all could have a, a new partnership connection coming in. In the near future. Doesn't have to be love. It could just be a close friend, a good business partner, good opportunity. Some of y'all are definitely guarded against somebody. You definitely have your guard up or someone's feeling a little wounded around you. Take your pick there, right? Well, y'all see that one? Let's just keep that one out. Okay, what wanted to drop? Well, you better trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on this one, because you got somebody watching. Okay, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm. What crosses that high priestess, the four swords? Uh... This feels like passed over loved ones energy. Queen of Wands, fire sign. Page of Wands, Fire Sign, Six of Swords. Someone's going to kind of give you the heads up to uh, prevent you from getting uh, getting involved in something. Page of Pentacles. Let's do the clock. Okay, from the Six of Swords, moving in. Watch what you do for work. Stay focused on your work. Uh, you got an opportunity coming in. It's going to be very lucrative or going to be very beneficial to you, but it's still in the offing, right? It, it's going to be a big one. It could show up kind of small, but it's going to turn into something pretty fucking amazing. Queen of Wands energy down here. So stay in your power. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's feminine energy, right? There's Sagittarius showing up. So... From this Queen of Wands going to this Page of Wands, that Temperance energy, some of you all just going to have to calm your ass down, okay? Uh, this could be an opportunity that you're, you're going to kind of have to put on your big boy, big girl pants. You know what I mean? This could be a pretty lucrative type energy, a very important opportunity that you don't want to kind of dick around with it. For some of you, this could be something you've been wanting all your life. And uh, it's going to present itself, but you're going to have to be very mindful of the energy. Yeah, the Page of Wands or that Six of uh, Swords is the Eight of Wands. You could be getting a message, and it could involve travel. Definitely a great opportunity. That High Priestess there with that Four of Swords is still kind of giving me Passover love one energy. You definitely got someone protecting you. I want you to keep focusing on your healing. If you're dealing with something that kind of had you in a in a in a uh, sort of sad energy or in a negative kind of place, I want you to really focus on doing the healing right now with that Four of Swords and this Temperance energy, because this Page of Wands and this Queen of Wands right here feels like it, it's like your sort of energy. I don't want you to go into something kind of acting like a. Acting like you don't know what the fuck you're doing when you're really this Queen of Swords energy. So I don't want you to dumb yourself down when you're dealing with situations. I don't want you to dumb yourself down when it comes to your work. If you know you're the fucking Queen of Wands, you you kind of, uh, I want you to sort of own that room. You know what I mean? Now's not the time to be shy and timid and, and, and not um, feel like you can do what you need to do. Uh, you need to throw self-doubt out the fucking door. For some of you, this could be a speaking engagement, and you could be traveling somewhere. It definitely involves something that you do for work, or it's going to be very, very lucrative. Eight of Pentacles here, to the Nine of Pentacles, to the Ace of Pentacles. This is like one opportunity that can lead to another opportunity that can lead to another opportunity. So I don't, I don't want you fucking acting like this little page of wands, 
having a bunch of insecurities and you need to be focusing on doing the healing work. Stay grounded. Okay. I don't want you to let your emotions get the best of you, but I, I it feels like don't be fake. You know what I mean? If you're given an opportunity, maybe for some of you, you're going to be on a talk show or you're going to be doing something. You want to still come across as authentic. You know what I mean? Um, staying in your energy grounded, able to send that love out, but you still got that sort of spitfire energy in you as well, right? This feels like take this shit seriously, because for some of you, it can lead to something pretty fucking major. This could be a job interview you've been wanting. This could be an opportunity to work with somebody that you've been wanting. The high priestess there at that four swords, though, this, this feels like passed over loved ones energy watching too. Five of pentacles in between that. It feels like if you're coming from a place of lack, things are going to start balancing out for you. As soon as you start doing the work, putting in the time and effort, you know, the eight of pentacles there to that nine of pentacles is, you know, when you start doing the work, you work, you work your ass off, you work your ass off, but you don't always see results. It's not always immediate. Sometimes it takes a while for it to sort of catch on. But boy, when it does, it can pay off in a big way. So this is just stay consistent with what the fuck you're doing. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Right? Or persistent. Yeah, seven of cups. Queen of Swords. You know, some of you could remember a time when, you know, you really didn't have shit. I'm going to be honest with you here, because when I look at these cards, what I see, maybe someone that struggled with homelessness, some of them didn't know where the fuck they'd be staying, some of them might have had to go on government assistance with that justice card there, because they didn't have anything to fucking eat or drink. Uh, your situation is going to change up. Your situation is going to change up. You know, you didn't have a place to stay, so maybe you had to get some help. Maybe you had to get some rent assistance and get some fucking food assistance, right? Hey, sometimes people, the struggle is fucking real. You never know. It ain't like people ever plan on being in that energy, but sometimes, you know what? It just fucking happens. And this feels like you ain't ever going to let that happen again. Queen of Swords energy. You know what? It's good and it was, you're thankful for it, but you're like, you're never going to let that happen again. That Four of Swords feels like someone that, that, that could have struggled there with you and known that struggle. Wow, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. That's fucking beautiful. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Emperor card. King of Cups. Whatever you're dealing with, this could actually do with maybe what your struggle was. If you've told your story, you write your story, you speak on your story, uh, someone could be paying attention to that. Because this Page of Swords, we got the uh, Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the King of Cups here. So, you could have someone very interested in, in hearing your story. They like the way you present whatever the hell it is you do. Whatever you do for work. For some of you, if you're an artist, it's the, the creativity of your artwork. Maybe some of you, you do self-help books or you, you speak on things. Whatever you do for work, it could be anything. Maybe some of you are into philanthropy. Maybe some of you, in order to give back, maybe you work at a homeless shelter. Maybe you're a director for a nonprofit. You've been there, done that. So you know. But I think you got two energies here. The King of Cups and the Emperor. The King of Cups could have been someone that brought it to somebody's attention. Emperor energy is like boss energy, director energy, someone that can actually make a difference in order to come in and, and sort of... Um, this is that energy of, uh, I can change your life, I can change it, I can change your life. You know, if you got a platform, given the opportunity to speak in an arena that could actually help you out, people can get uh, more of an idea of what it is you do. I am feeling like nonprofit, 
you you work with people that ha- that you've been there, done that. So you know what? You're you're far more empathetic because you've been there, done that. You know what I mean? With this Queen of Swords, maybe you got your ass some education. You was able to pull yourself up out of that slump. So when people come in, you you kind of help. You help. You help. Maybe some of you are going to be getting some sort of reward for the work that you do. Recognition of some sort. King of Cups to the Emperor. That's someone bringing it to somebody's higher up's attention to look. Hey, look at what they're doing. Maybe we ought to uh, think about helping them out. For some of you, this could be when it comes to getting grants or loans. Because we got the Tower, the Devil, and the Empress here. Now, y'all, you don't get Emperor or Empress status if you ain't been through hell and back. <laughs> you don't get Emperor or Empress status if you ain't been through hell and back. And you survived to tell the story. Mm-mm-mm, look at that. Could that be any more beautiful? If you're going through hell, keep on moving, don't slow down. If you're scared, don't show it, you might get out. For the devil even knows you're there. Look at that. Emperor and Empress has been through some shit. Some things aren't birthright. Some things you weren't through blood, sweat, and tears. Okay? Yeah. I'm loving this. Some of y'all could be speaking, writing your story, talking on something. Talking about loss. Talking about addictions. Talking about your dark night of the soul energy, where you felt trapped and alone. You didn't know what the fuck to do. And then boom, you know, maybe you found spirituality. Maybe you, you got a leg up type energy. You got some help. You got your shit together. You got your shit together. Now some of you are celebrated. I am picking up like lines, writing lines, stories. You speak on it. Um, some of you organize fundraisers. You know, you, you've overcome. And you know, if you own like a non-profit, fundraisers are a really good way to... Uh, garner money, right? I'm seeing that hangman and thinking the Met Gala, right? Everyone's showing up, dressing. You know, it's a fashion show, but at the same time, it, it raises money. It raises money. So it's kind of a twofer. It is a twofer. It raises awareness. It raises money. What did I say? You've, you've struggled on the dark night of the soul. Someone have nine books, nine, nine, um, nine chapters, nine, nine, nine. Because I'm getting that as like uh, book chapters, uh, chapters, right? Nine distinct stories, nine distinct situations, nine distinct, uh, uh, I was going to say like families, um. Almost feels like someone's speaking point. But, uh, it's like the, the planning stage. So someone could be a little, um, this comes down to that page of wands energy. When you get given this opportunity, now, it's not the time now to, to sort of, uh, bow down and not do what you need to do. You're overthinking something. Keep it simple. Keep it direct to the world, right? Speak on what you know. Speak on what you know. The healing aspect. The healing aspect. When Archangel Michael came in and saved the day. That's sort of beginning. You know, it started, we were a great, loving, I had a great childhood, and then boom. There we go into the storyline, right? Damn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I like that energy. I am loving that energy. 
Now, for some of you, it don't have to be that dramatic. This could just be in your own situation. You could be getting a job opportunity because someone likes the way you work, right? Maybe you did some sort of a job sharing program. Maybe you, you got stuck doing a job that, you know, you might not have wanted to, but then you ended up getting good at it. And someone could be saying, hey, you know what? Let's recognize them. It does feel like a recognition energy. So, you know, enjoy it, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Y'all fucking earned it. But I want you to just know who the fuck you are. Now's not the time to be shy or timid or, or second guess it. Right? You know who the fuck you are. So, you know, stay in that energy. Stay in that energy. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. It's like keep it real, keep it with what you know. I love that. I love that. I love. I love that whole uh, concept idea around that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, peace, love, and light. Sixteen, sixteen.